So here we go. Today I'm going to tell you the story of why God is a left-handed painter. Grandma and grandson had gone out together for a walk in the park and it was a very beautiful and special morning because it snowed all night. So they have been praising the Lord for painting this beautiful scenery for them in virgin white with an awesome smell of heaven and they just couldn't get enough of the view. Grandma later on started teaching grandson about the coming of the Holy Spirit and its significance. She told about it to his grandson that before Jesus has left his disciples, he told them that uh, he's going to, he's the son of God. He's going to be seated on the right hand of the father. And he told them all about the prophecies for the end days. He also told them that he has to leave in order for to be able to send the Holy Spirit to comfort them in this worldly existence. So when Jesus has left and 40 days later in the upper room, the people of God praying together had received the Holy Spirit and spoke in many tongues yet understood each other. It was a sure sign of that everything that Jesus said about who he is and what he's going to do and what is going to happen at the end of the ages is also going to be fulfilled. Just as it was fulfilled in the, in the past prophecies that about the Messiah's coming and that he will be the redeemer of all of God's people. It, grandma also told grandson that um, to be seated on the right hand of God is a badge of honor. It means that he has power and authority and that he finished the redemption of God's people. It also meant that he is going to inherit and he is the heir of the heavenly kingdom. Then grandma became curious about the listening child and asked him, does this seating arrangement remind you of anything, my grandson? Expecting that he will remember that he sits on the right hand of his father and his father sits on the right hand of his grandfather. But instead, the son spoke up and said, Grandma, that must mean that God painted the park white with his left hand overnight. Now, I told you this story so that you would also know why God is a left-handed painter. Blessings and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.